Okay, welcome back. You're watching this morning on Metro Television. My name is Desmond Okrekudas. It's time for us to talk. And this morning we're talking about payment platforms. I know we use that a lot. Um, there are a number of them that you know a lot of us do use, but really we want to have the understanding of that and more so about this particular one called uh, Celluland. And today I've been joined by the head of business development at Celluland, Ghana, Freddie Kwame Odro, as we get into that conversation. Good morning and thank you for joining us this morning. Good morning, Desmond. I hope you're well. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Hope you're well too. I'm also very good. You're looking good, by the way. Oh, <laughs> thank you. But I thought Anaya had a day, but uh, <laughs> actually, I'm looking good also. It was good to have you. You're looking oh, good also. I like the blue, blue. Yeah. Well, blue is like Chelsea things. So. Always taking inspiration from you, Desmond. <laughs> great, great, great. So let's, let's get into it. payment platforms. Sure. Um, a number of them have come up. I mean, in, yeah. the, in the in this era of technology that we have all of these things. Now we have a lot of these payment platforms. Let us understand basically what payment platforms are. Well, payment platforms are the various uh, digital platforms that um, offer alternative payments other than cash, which um, has dominated um, the African business environment for some time. So payment platforms offer alternative payment uh, solutions other than what we know which is cash. So That's some examples basically. would be? Examples like mobile money mm. platforms when people would send normal mobile money to their loved ones. And also examples would be using Visa MasterCard okay. to do transactions and all that. And also using FinTech uh, solutions mm. to um, do transfers, right? So that's basically uh, payment platforms. And how important have they become? I mean, in these are our talking cashless society yeah. and all that yeah well in the wake of COVID, this has become very important mm -hmm. right we cannot overemphasize the importance of uh, digital payments today um you know in in the past years we used to over two hundred thousand years okay payments were based on the battery system where um, we used to transact with goods so i bring my goods in exchange for another goods but the challenge with that was um, due to um, availability of goods and divisibility of goods. And so we needed to innovate, right? And that influenced we coming to use a very smaller, an alternative which is divisible and uh, which is always available. Okay. And that brought us to we trying to identify more innovative ways to make payments in our society. We started using cash and now we have digital alternatives yeah. also there. And this is very important in our society because it makes, it improves uh, financial inclusion. Okay. It also makes uh, transactions very easier in the business world. Okay, and that's how come Cellulant Ghana is on. Just tell us um, about, about Cellulant. Well, Cellulant is a leading Pan-African payment company offering okay. payment solutions to global, regional and local merchants. We currently operate in about 35 African countries, but we have fiscal offices in 18 of these countries. Mm. And um, we, we, we are serving our merchants through, by giving them a, a single API integration platform called Tink, where they can collect both online and offline uh, from their customers. And we offer this by helping their customers pay with mobile money, Visa MasterCard, and also paying, making direct payments from their banks. So I'm not to sound too complex. Yeah, I, I, I was beginning to think <laughs> that, that you know, the API integration. I know, that. yeah. <laughs> so uh, basically, mm. what we do is that if we have any business in Ghana okay. and in Africa mm. who is looking at um, collecting or helping their customers make payments to them, mm. um, um, we offer the solutions for them to do that. So let me give you a typical problem statement that we have in Ghana today. Okay. I have interacted with a couple of... Uh, big guys, the big merchants that we have in country. And one of the major challenges they are having is that they have to get different payment solutions. So a typical example, we have a merchant that is having multiple stores across the country okay. and customers walk in there to make payments with mobile money. So they have to now find MTN mobile money platform, Vodafone mobile money platform, Airtel money platform. Mm. So they have to now manage all these separate platforms. Right. Okay. And so what Cellulant did for them is that we offered them one payment platform that can do collections 
from all these uh, mobile okay. network operators. So we offer them that interoperable platform okay. that can collect from all these multiple platforms. So if, if sorry to cut, cut yeah, in, sure. but if I'm, I'm understanding what you're saying, someone would walk to a shop yeah. and say that I want to make a transfer via maybe this particular network. And they yeah. say, oh, we don't have this one. We have the other one. Exactly. And the person would have to go look for the others. Exactly. So now what you do is to provide one platform that irrespective of the network, network you're that using, you're on, you can pay, make okay. payments to the customer. Okay. Right? And also, we've added a value to that. And what we've done is that we've offered uh, a solution for reconciliation. Mm. Because we realize that for some of the merchants, especially those who have multiple stores across the country, okay. they want to see the various payments happening in all these stores. And so what we've offered is that we give them visibility of these payments by giving them a dashboard. So on the dashboard, mm -hmm. they can click on, let's say, a Beckham store and see the transactions happening there. They can click on the store at Edum and see the transactions happening there and that of Cape Coast and see the transactions happening there. And they get all these payments settled in their bank account. Okay. And that same merchant, if they have an online presence, they can use our Tank checkout platform to collect from their customers online as well. And their customers can pay also by all mobile money platforms and also by Visa MasterCard and also make direct payments from their bank on their online platform. So basically, this is what we are offering mm. Africa. And um, we, we, we are offering the solution to all businesses that would want to collect across Africa in different currencies and want to be settled in one currency. Okay. This is what we offer. One of the issues um, lately has been with licensing. Yeah. You know, um, we can mention a number. Of, now, people are very skeptical when they want to get into things like that. Yeah. Uh, Celluland, you have a, a license from the uh, Bank of Ghana, which is the PSP. Yeah. What, what does that mean? So, um, after the banking sector cleanup, uh, the BOG also requested that all fintechs needed to recapitalize. Okay. Right. And so, um, Celluland, I'm happy to say that we met the minimum capital requirements and the various requirements that was expected of us, and we got our enhanced PSP license. What this means is that we have the license to offer fintech services to the Ghanaian public. And so if you are using any Celluland product, if you are using our tank platform, be rest assured that you are in safe hands. Okay. Yeah. Now, the, the conversation about tax on mm. mobile money transactions, yeah. it has come up. Yeah. Um, how, <laughs> what's your take on that? And, I mean, from your outfit also, Celant, yeah. the, do you think that there's any impact sort of on mm. transactions as people will not get into that? Well, um, I would say I welcome all innovative ideas that the government will come up with okay. to raise revenue mm. to fight our, our budget deficit, right? Um, the public outcry has been, uh, since the announcement of the e-levy, the public outcry has been on the take rate, the percentage, which is the 1.5. I think they started with 1.75, yeah. which they reviewed to 1.5. And so I know a lot of um, uh, people out there, because we have engaged, we are in the space, we hear the comments from um, uh, some of the Ghanaians out there. They feel the 1.5 is quite high, and that, sorry, if it can be reviewed, um, I believe we will get a lot of people uh, throwing their weight behind uh, the e-levy. But with the impact of e-levy, um, since the announcement, in fact, in, as of the end of November 2021, we had about 47.3 million registered mobile money users. Mm. And out of that, 18.4 million were active users, processing about 86.1 billion in transactional value on mobile money. Now, this figure took a dip after the announcement in November, yeah. it went to 76.2 uh, billion Ghana cities. So we lost almost 10 billion just by the announcement of the e-levy, yeah. which is major, right? It's huge. And the researchers believe that if nothing is done to curtail this, it can reach a staggering 24 billion. Even, even just last month, the Momo agents themselves mentioned yeah. that there's been a serious dip in transactions. Exactly. You know, that, um, if there were to be any alternative, yeah. what would that be for, from you? For me, um, I believe that uh, the, the leader should listen to uh, the public outcry. And as I mentioned earlier on, people believe that the take rate is quite high because proud to the announcement of the e-levy, the MNOs, 
were taking one percent on all gross payments processed mm. on their yeah. platforms and so uh, probably one would have thought that the e levy would come asking for 0.3 percent or 0.5 percent maximum on top of what the mnos are already uh, taken um, so they most people believe that the 1.5 percent on top of the one percent is quite on a higher side. Yeah. So I believe if they probably they listen to that side of the argument, uh, they will be able to get a lot of people uh, putting their weight or supporting the e levy agenda. Okay, so you're still watching this morning here on Metro Television. My guest here is Freddie Kwame Odro uh, from Cellulant Ghana. We're talking about Cellulant and also some other things when it comes to transactions in the country. Now, the other thing I'd want to ask is about the electronic you know um system that we want to put out you know in the country the vice president has been doing the digitalization <laughs> drive yeah. and now there's some sort of pan-african payment systems yeah. and all of that how does this impact our, our businesses among countries in the continent you know um in Sutherland, we've had we've had a lot of concerns mm. that um some of these global merchants especially um uh, has reached out to us and they've expressed their concerns or the challenges or should I say their pain points and some of them being challenges in transacting with businesses outside their countries. Yeah. Generally we have about 42 different currencies in Africa and so just imagine let's say you own a company in Kenya you do let's say hair, hair products right and you would want to import share butter from Ghana. The challenge was to make payment to that company in Ghana, probably you would want to pay in dollars. And that company in Ghana would also have to have a, a foreign account so that mm. you can probably make those payments in. So platforms like the new platform, the Pan-African Payment Settlement Systems, what it does is that it is now allowing businesses to make payment to other businesses in different countries in their own local currency. Okay. So like the scenario I just gave, your company wants to buy share butter from my company in Ghana. You can pay in Kenyan shillings. Your central bank processes that payment, pays the Ghana central bank, then they pay me in my bank account in Ghana cities. Okay. I wouldn't have to, we wouldn't have to transact in dollar. Mm. We wouldn't have to um, uh, have a foreign accounts to be able to do business mm, as do Africans. Yeah. These platforms are going to create, um, boost the business or change the payment landscape of Africa. And so just like the ECD, which is just basically a digital version yeah. of the, our banking note and coins, right? It is going to transform businesses in Africa and in Ghana, and it's going to make payments very easy. When, when I read the BOG report on the ECD, I realized that their main aim is to try to make digital transactions free. And so on the ECD that the BOG has launched, mm. I, I get to transfer money to you without making paying any charges whatsoever. Okay. These are going to transform the payment landscape in Ghana. And I can't wait to see our how we evolve in the next in, decade. In the, ne yes. the next decade. Yeah. So we're wrapping up on the cellular landscape. Sure. You mentioned earlier that you have uh, branches across Africa. In, in Ghana, you've got... Um, some of you just well, to in Ghana, yeah. our office is at the airport, the GACC building. We're on the first floor of the GACC okay. building. Mm -hmm. But uh, we have offices in Kenya, in Nigeria, in Botswana, in Zambia, um, in Uganda. As I said, we have offices in 18 African countries. If okay. you're a business in Ghana looking to collect in multiple African countries, collecting different currencies, by looking at one single integration, signing one single contract, and wouldn't have to be integrating with different partners across mm -hmm. Africa, please, just give us a call. So, GACC building at the airport, okay. Yeah. All right, so I think that'll be it. Oh, any, any number you want to put on your social media platforms? Well, just visit our website okay. on www.salant.io and you will get all the information. Okay. Cellulant.io. Yeah. Thank you very much, Mr. Drew, for joining me this Welcome, morning. Thank so, so Freddie Kwame Drew is the head of business at uh, Cellulant Ghana, and we're talking about payment platforms, and also I think there's a very good, good initiative, and so you can all jump on that. Mm -hmm.